let's assume that we have two projects project a and project b project a has an initial investment of 120 million and it will generate 50 million free cash flow at the end of each year for the next three years project b has an initial investment of 160 million and it will generate free cash flow of 65 million at the end of each year for three years so let's calculate the irr for project a and b so we'll come here and write equal irr open bracket and then highlight all our cash flow from time zero till last year and then copy and paste so for project a we have internal rate of return of 12.04 percent for project b we have internal rate of return of 10.58 percent so if i told you that if our discount rate is five percent which project shall we accept a or b so tell me okay both irr is bigger than our discount rate so we should accept both of them if i told you discount rate is 10 percent which one shall we accept you will tell me irr for post projects is bigger than discount rate therefore we should accept post projects what about if we calculate nbv do you think that we will have a different decision or it will be the same decision so let's calculate it so we will write here our discount rate and we'll start with zero percent and then i'll come here and add one percent so here our highest irr is 12.04 so i will drag here until i reach 13 percent then i would like to calculate here our nbv for project a and then nbv for project b so nbv for project a we will use our nbv built-in function in excel which is equal nbv open bracket it mentioned here put our discount rate so we put here zero percent comma put the value and remember it was mentioned here the value from time one from period one not from period zero so i will go from one till the end and i will press here the dollar sign f4 or function f4 because when i drag i want this cash flow to be constant close bracket plus our initial investment and press the dollar sign or f4 or function f4 then with nbv for project b i will do the same equal nbv open bracket it shows the rate which is zero percent comma our values here from year one to last year put the dollar sign close bracket plus our initial investment and put the dollar sign then highlight both of them and from this little box double click then we would like to draw it so i will highlight all this table here and then i will go to insert and then from here i will press insert the scatter x and y or bubble chart and then choose this one here so if you check here for example at four percent if we're going to choose here at four percent which project has a higher nbv a or b so let's cover that project b has a higher nbv therefore we should accept project b what about at eight percent which project has a higher nbv project a has nbv of 8.85 which is bigger than 7.51 the nbv of project b therefore we should accept nbv for project a and that's why you discover here our blue line is the nbv for project a our orange line is nbv for project b and they cross here they are not parallel so once they cross at this point this is considered our crossover rate which means at this point any discount rate below this point it shows project b because nbv of project b will be higher than nbv of project a but any point after this crossover rate which means any rate above this cross over rate but lower than its irr so this means that it shows project a because it will give you higher nbv here the nbv of project a is bigger than nbv of project b so how are we going to get this crossover rate can we do it with calculation yes get here 
project b minus a. So I will come here and I will say equal the free cash flow of project b minus free cash flow of project a. And then drag. Then I need to calculate IRR. So equal IRR, open bracket, highlight all the free cash flow. So what's our crossover rate? 6.13%. So I know here at this point, 6.13%, we will be indifferent between project A and project B. They will give us the same net present value. And that's why if I'd like to get here NBV for project B minus A, let's do the same. Equal NBV, open bracket. You choose the rate, comma, highlight the free cash flow from year one till last year. Put the dollar sign, close bracket, plus our initial investment, and put the dollar sign, and then from this little box, double click. What's our crossover rate here? 6.13. So if I come here with 6%, I will update it to 6.13. Look here, what happened? NBV of project A is exactly the same as NBV of project B. And that's why at this point, 6.13%, we will be indifferent between project A and project B. And what is the project B minus A? It's equal to zero. Because what do you mean by IRR is equal to 6.13%? This is the rate that will make NBV is equal to zero, which means our initial investment is equal to the present value of all future cash flows. Then we can here highlight this graph here. And if we go down, I can even drag. And you'll discover that here, our NBV for project B minus A, it would reach here zero, at which point at the crossover rate, which is 6.13%.